Singleton design pattern is a very controversial and debated topic in the software development community. Some people say you should avoid them at all costs, and some use them willy-nilly like there's no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow! What is Singleton? Singleton is a creational design pattern that ensures that a class has only one instance, and also provides a global point of access to it. The Singleton pattern solves two problems at the same time. Number one, ensure that a class has just a single instance. Why would anyone want to control how many instances a class has? The most common reason for this is to control access to some shared resources, for example a database or a file. Number two, provide a global access point to that instance. Do you remember those global variables that we use to store some essential objects? Just like a global variable, the Singleton pattern lets you access some object from anywhere in the program. However, it also protects that instance from being overwritten by other code. Now let's implement the singleton design pattern in Dart. First of all, we need to create a private static instance variable that keeps track of the sole instance. Secondly, the constructor should be private, because we want to prevent object initialization from outside of the class, so we make constructor private. Finally, we create a static getter method that allows access of the instance globally. It is responsible to create the new instance if it's not previously created. Here we have a problem. This won't work if we need a synchronous construction. Also, we can't pass in any arguments from the calling scope. For a singleton that needs a sync construction and arguments, we would use something like this. Now let's to check some singleton examples in Flutter. If you used Firebase before, you'll be familiar with this code. That can be used to sign in when a button is pressed. The singleton pattern is used by all the Firebase plugins, and the only way to call their methods is with the instance getter. One of the very important examples where we must use the singleton pattern is in initializing the database. In the whole program, we should initialize our database only once, because if we do an operation on the database whenever we want and initialize it every time, it will cause a severe decrease in the performance of the program and the program will be in trouble. And make to sure hit the subscribe button to get the next video.